Hello again guys, as you may have heard, the Droid Turbo has officially received its update to Android 5.1, so I thought I'd take just a quick second to show you the installation screen, show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. My wife has been using this, as I told you before, and so it's got this bright pink Incipio case on it. But here you go, it does say install system update, there's the version number, it's 231138 US says the software update includes updates to the latest version of Android 5.1 Lollipop, enhanced app performance, an all-new visual design, improved lost or stolen device protection, and it's going to take about 20 minutes to do. So I'm going to start this and come back when it's done. So it is powering down the device now. And there you see the installing system update. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I missed some of the boot animation, but that's not really a big deal. Although I will say I don't really remember the boot animation being blue, so maybe that's changed. Maybe that has to do with this being the Sapphire Blue Droid Turbo. I don't know. All right, looks like we are finishing up the boot process now. And there you go. It is locked. I'm going to put in my wife's code. And there you have it. This is Lollipop Android 5.1 running on top of the Droid Turbo. Everything's still starting up, so of course that's going to account for a lot of this lag here. Up here at the top it says get notifications faster. You can see them before you unlock. Update Google Play services, which we'll have to go ahead and do. And while we wait for that to happen, let's go ahead and just double check the version number. But everything does look like 5.1. You see here we do have these drop-down toggles for Wi-Fi, as well as for Bluetooth. So we'll go ahead in here. We'll go to About Phone. There you go. Android version 5.1. Let's take a look at that quick lollipop that we've always been wanting to see on the Droid Turbo. Very, very nice to see this finally. And there's a little game, just in case you are curious about it. I'm terrible at it, so I'm going to get out of that. I think everybody's terrible at that game. But now that everything started up, everything does seem to be going decently fast. Definitely nothing to complain about. If there's anything you'd like to see on this, anything in particular that stands out for you, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. First thing that I noticed is it didn't pop up complaining about the SIM card, so that's definitely a plus. When my wife was using this before, anytime you would start the phone up, because we're not on Verizon currently, it would pop up and complain that it wasn't using a Verizon SIM. Oh, I apparently spoke just a little bit too soon. SIM card is not from Verizon so that hasn't been fixed yet but it looks like the update did complete successfully this is probably one of the things that was making it be a little bit laggy there it says update complete you have updated to 23 11 38 en us here's all the little updates that we read about before you can learn more about it here they do recommend charging the phone as the update may have drained the battery however this is the droid turbo so it does still have 66% of its battery life remaining after a full day of use. Google Play Services is updating at this point and everything looks good. So like I said, if you have any questions or anything about this, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a thumbs up down below the video if you like this video and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available and I'll see you again next time.